All right, this is a short one. I'm going to talk about something that's called a barrel file. And I actually didn't know the name myself that it was called like that a few weeks ago. I've used the technique sometimes, but I didn't know the name. So I'm going to show you a technique on where you can skip all these imports here and just do it on one line. So you can imagine that if you have a lot of imports, it will be great. Otherwise, you can do it like this. In this app, it doesn't matter really because this is a very simple application that I don't even want to call an application. I have three components, body, head, and legs. And you can see that they just type out the name. And if we look at the application, it looks like this. So <laughs> nothing fancy really. Uh, and probably quite uh, not useful at all. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you can see that I input these components here and I type them out here in the JSX. And this is made in React. And that's mainly because I work mostly in React. This has nothing to do with React. You can do these barrel files and this technique with just plain JavaScript. I'm also using TypeScript because I'm used, used to that. So these are TSX files and TS, but it doesn't matter if it's JS files. So let's start off in the components folder. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it index.ts. If you were to be in JavaScript, it should be called index.js. And inside of that file, we will kind of import and export these components in one go. So we just pass them through this file, so to say. And it's enough that we export star or an asterisk from dot forward slash body. We do the same with the other ones. We have the head. And maybe that should go at the top. So head body and export star from legs. So by doing this, we're passing them through this file, the index file here. Save this file, go back to your application file, the app. And I comment these ones out and I'm going to import them on one row instead. So import. It's very important now that I have curly brackets. So we have the head, the body and the legs. I'm going to import them from dot forward slash components. That's enough. But you can see it complains now because model components has no export and member head. Okay, so let's fix this a little error. So we go inside of the components. You can see that we make a default export here. We shouldn't do that. We should remove that one and make a regular export like this. So we do this on all of these components. And make sure to save them also. I'll remove everything here. And now you can see that it works. So we import these ones on one row instead. And if we were to have a lot of these imports, it would look much cleaner now to do it like this. And I'm sure so the application works. So it's the same. So this works. This is essentially what a barrel file is. We have this index file here and we kind of import and export them in one go here. And it's enough to type export. And we have the store, we export everything from the head, the body, and the legs. And then we pass it along in this file and we can import it like this instead. If you still want to have an, a default export here, I can do it on the legs here, for example. You can see that it instantly starts to complain here now. You can make this one the default export in this barrel file instead in the index file. So instead of export store, I have export default as legs, and this will also work. If you prefer to have these default exports here, if you want to be able to use them standalone as you did before, you can do it like this instead. And you instead create this default export here in this barrel file. So I think this is it for this short little quick tip video. And it can be useful when you have a lot of imports. Otherwise, skip it. I don't think you need it. But anyways, if you like this stuff, if you like my channel, please subscribe and let the world know about my channel. I'm so grateful and it would help me a lot if you subscribe and tick that notification button. And as always, see you in another one.